guys, welcome back to the Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Until Dawn for the Sony PlayStation 4. Something out like there. Like what? Gosh, relax, it was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? I don't want to talk about that fucking sack of shit. Wow. He left me. He just fucking abandoned me when I was hanging off that goddamn tower about to die. What tower? And then I, I fell into this terrifying freaking mine shaft and he was just gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what mine shaft? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found Oh my it. god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. <sighs> That's horrible. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take a gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. 
Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Ah, uh, your friend will already be dead. No, no, he, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No, I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Uh, we need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's, uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with a shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? some patterns, like any animal, or human. Like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? See you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out unless you have no other choice. Dude. So. Oh, wow. Where do I even begin? First of all, I gotta tell ya, if these things, uh, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they, they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? 
Maybe they can be cured or... <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure. There's no redemption. I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. When you're staring one in the face, it's them or you. You feel free to take the high road. You won't be on it for long. Oh. Uh, so really, once again, I don't even know where to begin. These guys are really gabbing to each other. Where do I begin? Well, first of all, um, I'm probably breaking this up into two parts, because, you know, sometimes I feel like that's just the way to go if cutscenes get crazy and that kind of thing. You know, I just feel it's appropriate. Uh, other than that, I would have said, originally, this has been a batshit insane part. This has been batshit insane. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I feel like... I don't... I, so, is Josh the bad guy? Josh isn't the bad guy. Is Josh, like, psycho? And was he planning on, like, really killing us? Or is it just a joke? Or... Who knows? But one thing I feel like is certain, like, Josh is pretty fucked up in the head. He's gotta be fucked up in the head. Even... Not just the elaborate prank, but there was still, like, real messed up shit he did. And then, yeah, Beth's head, and then, well, now that strange guy all of a sudden just comes out of nowhere, even though we have seen him around, we have, throughout this game. Uh, but then now, all of a sudden, these Wendigos, and they have that specific vision, and, you know, if I were to play this game again, I believe we've seen that vision before. Before the, the mines, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Crap. So we're definitely um, backtracking a little bit. Um, as you can see, we've been here. Pretty sure I picked this up. Oh, Yo, yeah, it didn't even activate. That's cool. You know, that that's, gives you another opportunity, I suppose. And uh, who were we here with? I don't remember. I don't I remember that thing, but it wasn't... Uh, Chris, who was it? I don't remember anymore, man. It's just, it's been getting so crazy. This guy reminds me of what's his name from uh, The Last of Us. Bill? Yeah, Bill's down. Oh, played by actor. Oh, oh, the name escapes me. I love Deadwood, though. He was in Deadwood. Bill, the character in The Last of Us, looked exactly like, uh, um, you know, the actor, which seems to be the way they're going with this. I don't think that's him as well. Uh, man, name's, uh, name's on the tip of my tongue. Ah, oh, I love Deadwood. So, now Wendigos, huh? Now we got that. We got Josh, who's crazy. He might be psychotic and all that stuff still. Uh, he's definitely fucking daffy, man. I mean, what the... I don't, I don't know what to make of it. It's, is it like overkill in the game? Or is it appropriate? I don't know. It was very eyebrow raising, you know what I'm saying? I was just like very confused. I mean, I get it, but it was just... It was very strange. And this guy... Uh, I don't know. This part... This game is definitely taking a new approach, don't you think? And I guess that can be cool. So now we are kind of dealing with things that really don't truly exist, huh? Damn it! Great. <laughs> I mean, Mike lost fingers. Oh yeah, so then the Wendigo took Jess through that window way back, huh? Yeah, I buy that. That that wasn't Josh. That was probably a, that was a Wendigo. So I don't think Jess is dead. I don't think any of these characters are dead. Damn it! What happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you a mobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. 
body, piece by piece. He keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So who wants that? Let's go now. It might still be near. When I'm getting ready. <laughs> Just, I turn around immediately. Ah, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Well, man, oh crap. Remember that note we found? Something about peeling the, the skin off and all that? Surely the Wendigos can't write. Right? Right, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, so that's how he did it, huh? Ooh, including uh, with the fake chin right there. See that? Like, I don't think that was required. Like, yeah, stick the head through and all. Given the situation, yeah, I'll buy it. Sure. Yeah, I'll buy it. Oh, cool. Let's check this out. Because we... Oh. there'd be some cool stuff. Yeah, we've kind of been here. We've been all around. The Wendigo. The first Wendigo I ever encountered in video games, I believe, I believe was in Defenders of Oasis for the Sega Game Gear. Why do I know that? I don't know, because there was uh, an enemy, a Wendigo in that game. Yeah, it was like a werewolfish kind of... I mean, not really, but it was like blue and brown. Ah, forget it. I mean, it's like a Game Gear, what do you want? I don't know, man. There's still some messed up stuff he did. He was just babbling like an idiot. Well, he hit it well, didn't he? He hit it quite well. He seemed fully functional. Beforehand, right? When we all came up, when we were coming up here, and when we first arrived, it was just normal. Okay. Wait. No more. You're very quiet. Hey, 
Stay with me. Stay with me, Ash. out there I'm I'm so sorry Ashley what about the old guy no sign of him I think he's got to be dead too oh Christ all right these are all the doors yeah are you sure what are you looking for another way out Mike look, I really don't think that's a good idea we should stay put right here until dawn at least we're safe down here oh yeah all wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then... We're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There had been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing, oh, it just no, it, oh, no, it no, bit no. me and... Bit you? What bit you? The... the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're- you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? 
This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Don't. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. I thought that, that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the- This guy's a little OCD. Anyway. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountains in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. Ooh. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories. There's a lot of history to this. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature Born in ice, the tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. I'm gonna wait before I say anything this time. I swear to God. Go on. Come on. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Thank you. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets do not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelopes them. 
burns away their skin and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. Wait for it. Wait for it. No? Alright. There may be... Okay. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems. Bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What is it? What does it say? Oh, uh, just a lot of crazy stuff in here. It's kind of hard to believe, actually. It comes across as kind of a whack job. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Just a game? But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation. Mike, Ash, oh thank God. Ash, what's wrong? It's... It's not good at that. No. Ash! Ash! No. <laughs> I am so sorry, Ashley. But what about the old guy? No sign of him. Wait! Don't move. Holy shit! 
What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. I was down there. It's horrible. There'd been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Um, what is the... Huh? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Here we are, back in the sanatorium, the loony bin, and there's just so much to talk about. Perhaps Peter Stormare and uh, Josh, that whole thing maybe, what's going on in his head kind of thing. And actually, you know, I always forget to talk about this. Well, in the last one, the last session scene was very apparent, but um, his office always changes. Uh, at first it was very gradual, minor things, uh, and then, you know, just outside and the wilderness with the snow but uh yeah you you may not have noticed it at first i started to um i gotta tell you honestly usually when i'm playing my video games my up and downs you know i uh i like them a certain way so <laughs> i'm uh, a little less used to uh aiming my guns with this control setup you know you saw me in part one trying to set it up the way i like and making a couple comments about that whole thing but uh why do I mention that? Because I was really trying to uh, shoot those Wendigos, and I wonder if Chris would have survived. Uh, I, I wonder if he would have been alive had I shot him down. Probably, right? I also feel like if I made a couple of different choices um, running out of the mines from the Wendigos, I bet uh, Emily would have been dead by now, too. Th both then and when uh, Mike was pointing the gun at her. I think that could have been a game over for that character too. As for Jess, I don't know. I feel like we'll see her again and she'll be a Wendigo. And uh, hey, the two sisters, whose head did we find? Uh, Beth, but the other one, maybe that other one is alive. And maybe that other one actually did turn into a Wendigo. Remember Mr. Flamethrower, he extended the hand. He was trying to be helpful. Wow, and he, he, he arrived and he departed, by the way, and I don't think there was any way around uh, his death. Man, that guy was just, he was in and out. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else can we talk about? I don't know. Am I happy with the way this game is going? The game? Sure. And you know, man, there has to be casualties along the way. And if it wasn't Chris, I don't know, perhaps Mike would have been in Chris's place, had I make had I made a couple of different choices, Mike would have went out with that dude instead. I feel like it's very appropriate for Mike to be alive right now. Yeah, like Mike, this guy with kind of like the chicks and uh, yeah, eh, that seems like a horror movie kind of thing. Chris goes down, and uh, oh, was it by stabbing? Mm, well, kind of. Eh. Anyway, guys, uh, those are my thoughts and enough of my. Ramblings for now. I'm going to call it a wrap right here. I'm going to cut this whole thing into two parts like I said, so uh, I'll make it look good. Anyway, guys, Wendigos now. Okay. That's still crazy, and I'm still having fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, some of those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, everyone, you can follow me on my social media pages, including my Patreon. The links to all that is in the video description. Go check that stuff out, guys. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Hello, Mike. Stay tuned for the next part of Until Dawn. I will see you guys next time. I am out.